everyone! It's Friday! And you know what that means? It's now time for our bold review dito sa Fridays with Viva Max where we review the latest Viva Max movies. And today we are going to review the uh, newest, the latest Viva Max offering which is Hustlers. And yes, look no further than to be uh than to uh watch <coughs> this review that is of the movie starring Queen Carillo, Denise Esteban, Angelica Cervantes, and Hershey De Leon, collectively known as the BMX Bellas. Okay, so four BMX Bellas in one Viva Max movie. Kung sa mga di nakakalam, there are like factions in Viva Max. One of which is the A-listers And this, dito naman ay ang The Bellas So, without any further ado I want you all to like this video Para mapunta tayo sa For You Nang YouTube Subscribe to the channel Hit that bell icon For more of your bold review Dito sa Fridays with Viva Max Only on Harriet So, uh we are now a growing channel. We are 390 subscribers away from 6,000. So, subscribe lang kayo if you enjoy the content. Hustlers is a drama. Yeah, it's a drama thriller starring what I said earlier, the four Viva Max Bellas. So, Hershey is taking the role of uh, Thea. Cheska being played by Angelica Cervantes, Hazel being played by Queen Carillo, and Denise Esteban playing the role of Sofia. All of which is circling to the death of one of their friends, which is Hazel, played by Queen Carillo. So, gawin ko na lang maikli yung, ano, yung pagsasummarize ng Hustlers, okay? So, Queen Carillo's character, Hazel, died due to a drug overdose. And it's up to... What's her... It's up to Cheska to bring the gang back together for the one final respect to uh, Hazel. Ang nangyari kasi, maraming di pagkakanoaan sina yung apat during the end of their friendship tenure in college eh that's why they have split uh, nag split sila ng landas okay and we are here as the viewer of the audience to revisit the events of the past regarding uh, Hazel regarding the poor woman Hazel Regarding Sophia, regarding Thea, and regarding Cheska. Let's go to the story of uh, Sophia first. Since, since she yung pi ano, least development of the story. So Sophia is is a, is their average uh, student. Na nagtutrabak na konti lang ang kinikita as a part time worker, and she was referred to by. Hazel and by Hazel to be, to do the same job as Tia who is working part-time as a sugar daddy. Okay. So, ang pangit lang dito is Sophia did not enjoy being a sugar dad, be, becoming a sugar baby para sa kanya sugar daddy and this uh, starts one of yung mga ano mga konting diferensya sa kanilang pagkakaibigan another now let's go to Tia who I think has the least of the problems as I've said she's a sugar baby pero siya ay notorious for being one cert for being one certain person who married their bully in college Alex Alex is the school jock Played by Marco Gomez, who bullies this poor woman, especially Hazel, for being a drug pusher. And yeah, she ends up marrying Alex in the end. And isa yun sa mga fractures what, on what happened with on the end of their friendship. 
Kasi yung bulin nyo nung araw, eh, pinakasalan nyo pala. And then, we got Cheska, who I think has the worst of the outcome, but has one of the best, worst yung kanyang experience, pero maganda naman yung kalabasan. So, Cheska is the anchor of the group. She is the school cum laude. However, para matustusan ang pag-aaral niya, even though she is a scholar, she needs to support something. I don't know. I don't know if there's a reason why she is moonlighting as a topless maid. She, yeah, so she moonlights as a topless maid. And this, her bond with Hazel grew stronger when Hazel protected her from one of her topless maid clients and took the pay off him. Now, yung isa-isa dito may mga conflict sa story, pero ang pinaka-interesado dito kay Jessica. Jessica, working as a topless maid, she encountered Alex in the past, and Alex actually took a video of her being working as a topless maid and bribed her to ex in exposing the video, albeit being nice to his group. Knowing of this such infractions, eh, gumawa sila ng paraan para ang tawag doon, para para makuha yung cellphone ni Alex in the next out, in the next scene. So, Tia, knowing the situation, enlisted the help of Gabby, one of Alex's friends. Yung parang moral compass ng tropa nila, ng kupunan nila Alex. At itong si Gabby, siya yung mabait. Siya yung face sa team. If Alex is the heel, Gabby is the face. And siya yung unang boyfriend ni Thea. But in the end, si Thea nga nagpakasal kay Alex, hindi kay Gabby. So, I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Ayun. Yung operasyon nila got into a sudden weird twist. Sudden unfortunate incident. Kasi, Drinoga ni Alex, itong si Sophia, while the three, Cheska, Thea, and Hazel, are retrieving uh, Alex's cellphone to delete the video which involves Cheska. And this happened, when this happened, Hazel lunges in to protect Sophia, and the two got date raped by Alex and his cohorts. And yun. This uh, incident is the reason why two of these girls, Tia and Sophia, really never want to see uh, Hazel again. And with Tia being married to the rapist himself, ayun, and with uh, Sophia being the victim herself, yeah, she won't do, she won't really going to that. Cheska, however, became a lawyer and we find out that she is in a relationship with her secretary. So, she became a bisexual after graduating college. And, yeah. So, your struggles to put the gang back together eventually came into fruition or parang nagtagumpay naman when they have reconciled during the burial of Hazel and yeah that's how Hustlers ended it's really a short story most of the film is like getting to know the story of the four four women pero yung the bulk the climax is when Alex and his devilish plot and the re one of the reasons why uh Hazel, due to depression, kasi nabiktima siya ni Alex, got into overdose, di ba? We also find out that Gabby was in the scene when Alex, when Hazel got overdose, but he just fled because he doesn't want to be indicted to the crime. But it's really assuring that it's a suicide, and yeah, it, she was uh, OD'd. Ayun. So it's really a short review, kasi there's like nothing much. I like the story, but as you mentioned, as I mentioned, I like the story, but the uh, mature scenes, they're a bit quite bland. And I'm saying this because we got Hershey and we got Angelica, and they are the two best workers in Viva Max, and we got a bland film, but with a tremendous story. 
So kung kayo hindi po na nagharap ng may makwento sa Viva Max, ito yung masasabi ko. Pero pagdating sa <coughs> gusto mo yung kwento sa Viva Max, ito yun. Kung gusto mo yung paglaruan yung ari mo, edi wag, wag ito. Okay? It, this is a movie, this is an actual movie. So, spoilers! Because I know you'll be seeing that in the tier list anyway. So, what are we gonna do with this? Wait lang, ha? So, the tier list ranking for Hasslers is... Uh, huh? Ano yung Hasslers? Ito, di ba? Okay, Hasslers is... Hasslers is... I got so many tears. It's an actual movie or series. Ayan. So, yes, there is story in this you really get to be involved on why Hazel got overdosed and why their friendship got ruined and the happy ending really hits the nail on the coffin because nag-reconcile yung mga magbarkada you get to love them along the way Ayan. so next uh, Friday if you know what that means we are going to be reviewing Higop, starring Angelica Hart and Jara Laksamana. And also this Sunday, if you know what that, what that means, the last episode of Araro will Edgar finally gets his revenge against Leon. This is your boy, the God Gamer himself, Harriet, telling you goodbye and good night, bang.